Microsoft has rolled out its latest Patch Tuesday security update for Windows 11 versions 25H2 and 24H2, identified as KB507203. This was a fairly large update that introduced new features and fixes, including a solution for the File Explorer white flash issue. If you want full details on those changes, you can check the linked video for more information. However, beyond the visible features and improvements, Microsoft also made a quieter change that has gone largely unnoticed. This change may be slightly controversial for some users. With this update, Microsoft has changed the Axe deployment service, also known as AppX SBC, to start automatically with Windows. According to the updated change log for KB507203, Microsoft says this change was made to improve reliability in certain isolated scenarios. While the company does not explain what those scenarios are, the change is now officially documented in the release notes. If you open the services panel in Windows, you will find the Axe deployment service listed there. Its role is to provide the infrastructure needed to install and manage Microsoft Store apps. Previously, this service was set to manual startup, meaning it only ran when a store app needed it. Now, it starts automatically every time your system boots. This is why the change may concern some users. There are reports online suggesting that this service can consume a noticeable amount of memory and CPU resources. For most people using mid-range or high-end Windows 11 systems, this likely won't cause any problems. However, if you are running Windows 11 on a low-end or budget device with limited hardware resources, the automatic startup could slightly affect system performance. Microsoft's possible reason for this change may be linked to its plan to deliver Microsoft Store updates directly through Windows Update via the Settings app. Keeping the Axe deployment service running in the background would support this approach and ensure smoother app updates, that said, this change could potentially increase CPU, RAM, and disk usage on Windows 11 versions 25H2 and 24H2. This video is simply a heads up so you are aware of what's happening in the background after the latest update. If you found this update helpful, make sure to like the video, subscribe for more Windows news, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.